one of New York City's biggest cultural celebrations gets underway, the National Puerto Rican Day Parade will fill Fifth Avenue with tens of thousands of marchers, millions of spectators, and for those of you who can't make it to Midtown, you can follow the festivities on TV this year for the very first time. How psyched are we as well? The parade will be broadcast right here on Channel 7. The theme this year, once again, Un Pueblo, Muchas Voces, and here to talk about the lineup, the special guests, our good friend, Lorraine Cortez Vasquez, chairperson of the National Puerto Rican Day Parade. Henri Pedro Julio Serrano, executive director of Puerto Rico para Todos. Welcome to both of you. Are you, are you, are you, are your juices I, flowing? My, my goodness. juices are this flowing. Is, this and, is so great. And I can't wait to see that news helicopter yes. on Fifth Avenue. <laughs> Hovering that, overhead, that right? That is such a New York icon as it's, this parade is, so I'm are, just thrilled. We'll talk about it because we yes. are equally as excited as you guys are for the parade this year. One of the things that I noticed right away is that you've kept the same theme as as last year. Yes. Educate me on the thought process that you had in the meetings that said, okay, this is a good theme, let's stick with it. Why so? Um, the Puerto Rican community is extremely diverse. Yes. Diverse in terms of educational standing, uh, diverse in terms of income, uh, diverse in age. terms of age, yeah. and also just by the fact that we are islanders as well as the diaspora in the mainland. Yes. So we're very, very diverse. However, the one thing that binds us, that really binds us, is that great Puerto Rican culture and tradition that we love. Mm -hmm. So we're one pueblo. No matter where you live in the United States, where yeah. you live in the world, but we have many voices and many perspectives. Mm -hmm. And what we want to do is make sure that we honor each and every one of those diverse thoughts and diverse opinions in our community. Mm -hmm. And speaking of honoring, tell me about how you came to choose this handsome gentleman right here. <laughs> we'll talk to him in a second, but uh, I think you've made a fabulous choice in lifting him up as one of the honorees. Well, um... One of the things that anyone who knows about the Puerto Rican culture knows that at the core of everything is faith and family. Yes. And, um, y comida también. And, food, well, food. music and dance too, but, <laughs> but the core of who we are is family and faith mm -hmm. and, um, and our, our strong belief system. And one of the things that we have noticed was that for a long time, our family, our full inclusive family was being ignored yes. or not being honored. And we thought that this year, uh, in particular, particularly because Puerto Rico did a landmark decision and passed mar marriage equality. equality. I never thought in my lifetime that I would see that happen in mm -hmm. Puerto Rico. And I think he might tell you the same thing. Let me, Pedro, let me yeah, jump, jump so, in here. So, but... so as a result of that, we wanted to honor someone who is familiar with both parts of the Puerto Rican community. Yeah. Pedro Julio struggled for many, many years in Puerto Rico advancing this cause mm -hmm. and making sure that family was all-inclusive. And then we have the gift of having him now in New York. And so yeah. who better to represent this issue mm -hmm. than Pedro Julio? Speak to me from the heart first, and then we'll get your thoughts. I mean, when you were notified that you were being honored in this way, I would assume it was the same for you, too. Yeah, right? it's, it's still very emotional because the first time that I that I marched, it, it wasn't a pleasant experience. No, which was 10... It ten. was like almost 10 years ago, and I had my Puerto Rican flag and my rainbow flag, which represents the LGBT community, and, and they were they, they shouted anti-gay slurs at, at me, and yep. they threw bottles at me. But I now I'm being honored, I, you know, I'm marching on the Fifth Avenue mm -hmm. with my family, you know, yeah. uh, and it, it, it's also, uh, it also uh, showcases how far we've come with my family, you know, when I came out. Yes. As gay, uh, they, they they had trouble accepting me, and uh, now they not not only accept me and they they celebrate me. Yeah, you're lifting up now. That's right. Then. So, and that's what the parade is doing. They are lifting all of us up. Mm -hmm. They are they are saying we are all Puerto Ricans, all of us. Yes. You know, in all colors, in all shapes, in all uh, diversity, we're we're all Puerto Ricans. But I would assume that it does not mean that quote unquote our job is done. No. 
that we're that, 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 that it's finished. Oh, mm -hmm. this There's is just the beginning. Just the beginning, correct? It's just at the beginning. I think the recognition of the passing of the law mm -hmm. and so how much further we have to make sure that we protect the rights in all of the other areas. Okay. Uh, but the most important thing for us is familia is familia. There's mm -hmm. no one in our family that should be left out because of their sexual preference. So what does a designation like this in a high profile event do for the advancement of the cause? Well, the thing is that, uh, as Lorraine said, you know, no, no one should be left behind. And we have, of the homeless youth, 40% are LGBT. And, you know, that's, that's this disgraceful. That's, mm -hmm. that's horrible. So we need to, we need to lift them up and we need to work on accepting and loving the family. Mm -hmm. So for me, in, for myself to yeah. be named Orgullo Puerto Riqueño for many, many years, we're, we were not thought, gays were not thought as Orgullo. See? And we are. Mm -hmm. We are. And to be named that, it shows that how, how far we've come, and but also... How far uh, we still have to go. That's right. Before we get to our quick first commercial break, some of the other honorees, can you run down two or three of them off the well, top of your head? Well, as, as we have this star, we also have Carmelo, Carmelo Anthony. Carmelo Anthony. We are so the excited. King. The king. Yep. He's our king. We also have Anita Nazario, uh -huh. who's an icon in Puerto Rico. We have Andy Montañez, who's <laughs> phenomenal. Yes. Um, Oh my goodness, we have... That's good, I mean, that's... Just Rosario Dorsey. I mean, it's just a, a real good display. Okay. When we come back,